So let's start building rule for setting different pricing strategy based on the product category and the customer attributes to set up different discounts, different price and all. So the use case is that the company wants to set up different discounting strategies based on the product name, where product line, customer location, and the inventory left. And they want to have a discount set up for that, but they want to return the final pricing and not just a discount, as well as they want to show a customized banner message to the user over their app and front end. So in this case, if the product name is Chevrolet, product line is car, customer location domestic, they want to have a 10% discount and the price and the message accordingly. But if it is international customer, they want to have a 20% discount and so on. But if the brand is a uh, Volkswagen, they want to have a different discounting based on if the customer is international or domestic. So to start with, what first you have to define the input parameters of these rules. Uh, in this case, we have few attributes coming from a data set. But then, then there are attributes which are being sent on the over an API and not present on backend, like customer location. So we have to define both customer input attributes and the attributes that we want to import from data set. Once done, so if you want to import something from data set, so you have to just mention the name of the attribute that you're going to pass. Pick up the data set from which you want to use it and then give, just set the mapping key so that the rule can identify the corresponding data attached to this key and can actually run your rule. But if you're using any custom input attributes, then you can just define it from scratch in terms of what kind of attribute is it, if it is can be null or is optional so that again, rule can honor your agreement and can, can validate it for you. Uh, you can add as many as field as you want in here, uh, where whatever you want to use in the rule or from data set. Once you save, uh, all these attributes will start appearing in the property drop down for you to now build conditions. So you can see uh, the custom input attributes that are being shown. These are the attributes that are fetched from the data set automatically from a database for you to be used in, in the rule. Then we also have a global attributes that you can set up in a dashboard. So something like say, if you want to have a minimum price policy or minimum discount policy or max price or max discount policy, you can also set those global attributes and then actually use that in the rule to identify that you are not giving any price below what is needed as a minimum. Uh, then we also have a custom formula where you can write any complex condition as you desire, which is not supported in the no code yet. So you can actually write a simple JavaScript code to write that formula. And in here, you will get all the tokens as you need, right from the global variable to custom inputs to data sets. So you can use any of these tokens, build any kind of a condition in a low code way if it is not supported in the no code and it will be honored easily. So let's uh, extend this rule to add the inventory left logic because the company needs to have that inventory. So if they, if there are units, if there are certain limited units that are left, then only they want to give that discount, otherwise not. So you can set this discounting invent. So this is the uh, data set attribute. So we have picked it from data set. Now we want to say, okay, if there are more than 200 units left and the customer is domestic, we want to give discount only then. And in case of international, if there are more than 100, then we want to discount. Similarly, I'll add it here so that these gets reflected in the rule instantly. You can set up a result in terms of, so we are supporting all kind of a constant data types that you can set as an output, as well as we are supporting JSON and JavaScript formula for you to return any complex outcome specific to your name. So in this case, the discount is an integer, so we have mentioned it. The final price is actually the formula where we have used this JavaScript formula to determine the max of price into discount and the global price so that you are only sending the price, the final price based on discount. And if it is lower than the minimum price being set on the global attribute, only then the minimum price will be sent. And you can write any complex formula here. Also, then since there was a need to send a personalized message over an app or, or to the front end, you can actually define any kind of a custom message here for them to send. Again, all kind of a token are accessible, including the output data. So you can use any kind of output outcome tokens as well as any data set to just frame that customized message and send, send it back to the customer for you. If I need to duplicate, if I need to add more rules, suppose if I want to add now the port category also in the in the discount, my discounts are working well and I want to just extend my strategies to the different categories now. So I can actually just come back duplicate these rows, I can set the same kind of formula and actually have 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 these discounts done. So I can just write international and 
but it's greater than 100. So this is that easy, right? So I am actually extending my rules in the minutes for other categories if the current strategies are working good. Now comes the testing. So before publishing, the test is something that is definitely needed, is required. So you can just come, give up the dummy variable in terms of what you want. Click on test now and see, this is the result that you are able to. If I go back and click international, so you can see, so this is the result I'm getting. So you can see that the discount has been changed. The message has been also changed. So you can go back and test any number of combo that you want. You can change your databases, attributes, and test it out. And once, once you're done, once you're confident that you have set up the rules right, then you can go about publishing it. Furthermore, you can also this is the API over which the rule has been exposed once you publish. So this is the parameters that you can pass on your API and you can actually test your rule over API call right from your uh, applications or your browsers or your app apps. You can also, in case you want a secure API, you can also authenticate this using the API keys that are present in our security dashboard. So you can actually authenticate these APIs and be safe about it. Lastly, uh, while we have a cloud version, uh, they, you can, if you want to keep your data safe and secure, we have an optional on-premise option also, which wherein your data will not leave your premise and you can be sure about your data being safe and secure. Uh, that's it from my side. Uh, I'm sure you would have seen how Nectate can bring your ideas into reality at a speed of thought and can actually accelerate your innovation uh, in unprecedented speed. You can launch fast, expand more, and iterate faster with the utmost efficiency that you can bring in while getting the impact as, as fast as you can. We'd love to hear you from you. Uh, if you want to give it a try, just go to our website, uh, nectar.ai, sign up for the early access, and I'd love to get connected with you. Thanks for your time and looking forward to talk to you. Thank you.